Welcome back. In the first video on this series on the multi-language management feature of REDCap, we discussed how we would add the individual languages to our project and activate them, as well as if we wanted to set them to be a right-to-left language. In this next section, we're going to talk about how we're going to actually add the translations to our forms and surveys, as well as the other features such as the user interface. Something to note up here at the top, we have these tabs for forms and surveys, alerts, uh, miscellaneous user interface. These tabs also exist on a language by language basis over here under actions and either will work for getting there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on forms and surveys. And here we can choose which questionnaires we want to turn on the, uh, the language controls for each language. So here I've got this asterisk English is the default and I do want it to be possible to either in data entry mode. So by going to add edit records or in survey mode up here under survey distribution to add to use English for language entry. So I'm going to go ahead and say save. And I will go ahead and do the same for both Chinese and Yiddish. Again, we always want to provide our save our changes for our controls. So we don't need to translate for the English uh, language, but we are going to need translations for our uh, Chinese and Yiddish. So if I go ahead and click on fields, whoops, I double clicked. But if I click on fields, we'll see those same questionnaires we added earlier before the video started back in the designer. So I'm going to jump down. I'm really going to worry about, I'm not going to worry about the record ID since that's sort of a uh, user level control, but we'll go ahead and add in our translations for our various questions. So we can start putting things in here. And this checkbox here, it's not really necessary. It's just to let us know, have we filled out a translation for a given question? Uh, and that way we can sort or look for only, filter out to only have the unchecked boxes. Uh, and it can make things a little bit easier for figuring out what still needs to be uh, translated. Uh, not sure that's entirely right. Just add things in. Oops. And we can add in our translations. Again, remembering that uh, REDCap is not automatically providing it. We need to get our, uh, our own translations as part of uh, part of our workflow for working with the multi-language module. Uh, so adding these in. We can keep going as we go through. And so on. But for example, we might not want to worry about the form. Sometimes your form might be very lengthy. And so you do have to always remember to hit save at the top. And this is a time where hitting command S or control S is gonna be really convenient. So you're not constantly having to go across. Similarly, we set Yiddish to be a right to left language. So we can go in uh, and we can add in our, uh, our translations. I'm not entirely sure on the correct here. Um, and adding things in as we go through. And continuing to write in our questions. We don't need to really go through all of these for this. Uh, we'll note that the question mark is loading here, but it should, when we eventually load things, load on the correct side. So I'll continue on my own to fill out the fields. And then in the next video, we'll talk a little bit about working with the alerts, miscellaneous, and user interface.